It was match point and it was probably the longest rally of the entire match. Everyone kept digging everything up. I remember winning and our captain hit it off the block and they couldn't pick it up. We all ran into court and Darren, our coach, was telling us about how we just made history. My name's Daniela, I'm 16 years old. I go to Roof Course Academy in Leeds and I play middle blocker for the England Under-17 squad. My name is Fola Shabi Aladishir. I am 15 years old. I go to the Farnley Academy in Leeds. For England, I play a middle blocker. Nevza is a competition for the northern countries and we came third, which means we qualify for the European Championships. My highlight of Nevza was probably our match against Denmark and I got top blocker, which was like insane for me because the Denmark girls must have been like six foot one and I didn't really think I'd be able to compete like on a physical level against them, but to see that I could and I was getting the most blocks out of everyone on the court was really cool. In preparation for Nevsa, um, we go to the gym a lot, so I was going like two and three times a week. I have training like three or four times a week and then on the weekends we usually have a tournament or a competition. I think that having a good diet is really important for volleyball because obviously if you're going to the gym and like you're working out, it still doesn't work unless you have the right diet. The best bit about volleyball is being with the team and progressing with them together. Goss uh, supported me in my volleyball journey as they provide free lessons for us to take part in. And then they also helped when I got into England, they funded for a lot of my training. The major thing was that I wouldn't have even been playing volleyball if Gorse didn't have like such a large volleyball programme. And they've supported me, in, not just like financially, but in training and giving me the best coaching possible. I started volleyball in PE and I really enjoyed it and then joined the after school club at my school. When I first found out that I made the England squad, I was really happy, like I was screaming. My mum called me and she was like, oh, you got a surprise in your email. So I was like, okay, let me go check my emails. And I saw it and I was like, oh my God, this is great. So then I texted Daniela <laughs> to check her emails and then we just found out we both got selected and it was just a really great moment. <laughs> Well, in the future, obviously I'd like to go to college in the States and play volleyball there on a scholarship. We have the European Championships in April, so I'm going to do a lot of training for that in preparation for it. And after the European Championships, I really hope to continue playing with England volleyball. Short-term goals are to be able to win the Under-16s uh, National Cup. And I'd also like to go pro because, I mean, playing volleyball is my job would be like, it wouldn't really be a job, it'd just be like, I'd just be happy all the time. The long-term goals is to be able to get a scholarship into a uni in America and play for them. My advice for younger students would be to take any opportunities you have because it's a great sport, you make great friends, everyone in the community is really nice and you get to meet new people, you get to visit new countries and it makes you happier because playing a team sport and like doing like competitive things with, and you're being surrounded with your friends, it's a great experience and you bond together and you learn to love each other.